control studies. You can't do a better study than that. So in all of this, there were the three separate placebo-controlled double-blinded studies, as we have said. And when you look at this, we're using a diode that's producing 23% more energy, more efficiency than anything else. So when you look at all of these, this is the six-week study. I'm sorry it's a bit blurred. Uh, it is something that we, we have available for those of you that already have the technology. It's on Dropbox. For those of you that don't, uh, we can get it to you. So again, this is another study, and it's basically low-level uh, laser therapy for weight reduction. And again, it's a pilot study, but it's a very interesting study. And of course then, sorry, we have the green laser study. And the green laser studies is basically look at everything that's been done with green laser. And remember what's happening out there at the moment. You just walk around and you see what's happening. You look at the media, you look, you look at the magazines, we're seeing more and more green lasers used in fat loss. Why is that? We did it first. If everybody else is doing it, surely that also speaks for something. So when we talk about green laser studies, these are kind of some of the before and afters that we have. So this is eight treatments over four weeks. So that's two treatments a week. I would love a stomach like that. So then if we go further, uh, we're looking at what I like to call tums and bums. Uh, again, you can see the differences in those. So 15 treatments on a 55 year old person. So I'm older than that, so there's hope for me yet. How many of you would like to look a little bit more like that. So this is a technology that doesn't just get used on the midsection of the body. This is a technology that you can use anywhere. You can use it on chins, you can use it on bums, you can use it for cellulite, you can use it on legs, arms. If you have an area where, it, where there is fat and you want to emulsify that fat and get it out of the system, you can use it there. So that's four treatments. And that's using, again, green laser. So just in case you think the ladies are gonna have all the fun, us guys get to use it as well. So this guy had two treatments a week, and he had six weeks. So that's 12 treatments. And I think you'd agree there, that's a fairly interesting change. So how does it work? Basically, it's working by delivering a dose of photonic energy to the mitochondria. And when we get that to the mitochondria, some very interesting things happen. That's picked up by cytochrome C. In cytochrome C, we've got one little piece of iron, which basically loves photons. So when these photons come in, it picks them up, throws them into the system, and all of a sudden we have an electron, and we have instigated a complete transport chain. So we've got electron transport going. And when we get that going, we have a huge lot of potential. Not only do we see uprises and changes in interleukins, we see also the emulsification of fat. And think about fat for a minute. Fat in a fat cell is quite dense and it's quite, quite tightly packed together. So when we put this technology on it, what we actually do is emulsify that fat. So when we emulsify that fat, it swells up. So the cell gets bigger. And we all know what happens when we go out for the evening and we eat that big meal and you're sitting at the table and you're just shuffling around a little bit to loosen your belt because you know one of two things is going to happen. It's the same for the fat cell when we emulsify the fat. That fat has to be expressed from the fat cell into the lymphatic system. And here's the interesting bit. Unlike other technologies, that fat going into the system is free fatty acid. So it's already converted into something that our cells can use in order to fuel and power the body. So if you think about it, you put a patient on this, you get them to move, their muscles will burn that fat. More of it's going to be taken out through phagocytosis. So that's the toxic fat. And then anything that we don't use will actually be restored for next time. So think about this. That meal that you ate in Paris four years ago that cost you a fortune finally, you get to have the benefit of that meal. The vitamins, the minerals, the energy of that meal, and you don't have to put up with all the crap that they put on it because phagocytosis took care of that. So 
not only are you getting a technology that really works well, you're actually getting value for money for the meal that you've had all that time back. And of course, what I'm talking to you about is well researched, your research is up there, and they basically are saying to us that nothing is complex as the mitochondria. When we're young, we have bucket loads of them, so we hair around like lunatics. And as we get older, we get less energy, so we hair around less. Have a look at what happens when you stick one of your patients on this machine or any of the Econia technology for a period of time. You have released energy, you have increased the viable number of mitochondria. And by increasing the viable number of mitochondria, you have disposed to energy. Because you have converted fat into something that the body can use, now you've increased muscle mass. So by increasing muscle mass, you now have more available metabolic space for burning fat.